Hey, what's going on everybody? Thank you for stopping in. So I'm going to go over the uh, electric fans I just put on this truck. The, uh, they are the 0506 factory fans. I did a video a week ago on the install. I'm going to kind of you know go over everything real quick, make sure I didn't miss anything. And then uh, we're going to take it for a drive. I got to meet my wife at, you know, Wally World. Uh, so we'll see how they do. I let them run for a bit, a couple times and they kept the temperature great. I actually haven't driven it yet, so we're gonna drive it and see how they do. So first things first, you wanna make sure that you have the 34 inch radiator. You can measure the inside um, where the actual fins are, or you can just see if your radiator goes to this bolt or this bolt. Um, this is the 34 inch. The 34 inch uses the outer bolt, and these are the factory 0506 fans that use the inner bolt. Uh, hoses are the same for both. They both fit. This is a Nelson's harness to uh, pin into the factory computer. So you do have to take the connector out. Um, for, my, for my case, it was only one pin. You can opt for two. But anyway, um, they still function and work great. Uh, you do have to pull the connector out, run a pin into it. There's nothing there, but th this computer does have the capability of controlling the fans. You gotta remove the fan clutch and fan shroud, obviously. I already had that done because I already had the smaller radiator with flex light fans, which I obviously took off. Um, and once you do have everything done, this does the computer does need to be tuned. That's a question I got. Maybe I didn't cover it well enough. You do have to have your computer tuned. Um, it does have the capability, but you have to have a tuner turn them on. Because if you plug it in, nothing's gonna happen. And you're gonna overheat and then you have a problem. These are the fans I had. This is the 28 inch um, Flexilite kit. Pretty good kit. Worked great for my 5.3. However, with the heads cam stall 6 liter, it really wasn't keeping up. I took it out. Um, I did take it to the cleaner and spray it out. You know, pressure wash it and everything. Uh, the radiator, that is. This is probably going to be used in my wife's truck whenever we get around to that, but that's another story. So, yeah, that's kind of the gist of it so the 99 through 02 the red and blue PCMs do have two um, controls the one I used was blue 42 that is low speed cooling fan relay control or you can use and, and you can also use red 33 which is the uh, high control but on these trucks it's also the HVAC or circulation door um, this works fine um, when the AC kicks on one of the fans kicks on the computer tells it to, it kicks one fan on, so it functions perfectly. If, uh, oh, that's my alignment. If you have the 03 through 06, the green and blue, it's also blue 42 on this one. But, and it's a uh, green 33 instead of red 33. And then you see there's nothing there on the green one. So the green one, you can actually use both. So low and high speed. Not sure if it'll make that much of a difference, but depending on your application, that's, those are the pins you'll need. Okay, so as soon as my wife gives me a call, we're gonna hop in the truck and I'll let it run for a minute. Then we'll take off and we'll watch the temperature like a hawk. I don't suspect we'll have a problem. It's a huge radiator. You really wouldn't think it'd make that big of a difference, but seeing them side by side, they're, they're quite a bit you know, different in size. I mean, even though it's only six inch difference, you have to stagger these two fans to make them fit. The other one, you know, they have two massive ones. So using a lot more space, you know, pulling, pulling wise. Uh, if you watched my last video, you saw I could stick a piece of paper to the grill and it would hold it there. So they move some air, which is a good thing because stop and go traffic, these things struggled. But yeah, enough talking. We're going to hop in the truck and get going. Windshield is darker than your window. Well, I guess there's no windows. That doesn't really make sense. But we get going. She's uh, getting up the tip. Actually, I gotta get gas. I forgot. And we're off.
not super hot out, but she's holding steady. And uh, the truck was filthy. I was actually embarrassed how dirty it was. So we are getting it washed. This is the lazy man's way of doing it. But um, there's because it had gone so long, I didn't want to scrub it, you know, and scratch it with all the dirt. Now that this truck is like pristine condition, no scratches or anything, but I'm not trying to make it any worse than it is so yeah so we'll finish up this car wash and we'll get going all right i gotta say i'm pretty happy um go through the car wash the temperature actually dropped which makes sense the radiator got wet and as it's pulling air through it it cools down even more so but even before that it seemed like it dropped down to even below 200 which is well, maybe you know 90 190 I can't talk, but... I think it's good, so we're going to let it idle in the driveway for a little bit and watch the fans kick on, see how long they stay on, and see what the temperature does. Um, yeah, hopefully the truck looks a little better now. Uh, the, their button was broke on the premium one, so I had to get the next one down, which... You know, whatever, but... That was kind of funny. I think there's easier ways of not having people select it if you're out of that wash, just have it not be available instead of breaking the button and removing it entirely. So you guys can see the fans don't really make that much noise. You could definitely tell when these things kicked on. Even inside the truck you can hear them, which isn't a big deal really. But some people it matters, some people it doesn't. Um, like for me, I absolutely hate the way fan clutches sound. The Colorado has a fan clutch and we're gonna be doing a different radiator for that and the electric fan swap for that thing. Just, be, I mean, not just because I hate the way it sounds, but it sucks power. And it doesn't seem like the fan clutch ever works when it's supposed to. The fans or you just plug it in, the computer tells it, and it, it does it. There's no waiting for it to engage or disengage. But anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Um, thank you guys for stopping in. I do appreciate it. Um, hopefully, I kind of explained it a little bit better in this video in case I missed something in the last one. Um, if you want to see the install of it, you know, taking these out and putting the other one in, check out the other video. I'll try and link it at the end of this one, make it easier. So now that we got the cooling issue addressed there's other performance stuff and you know you know things here and there i like to take care of um for one my injectors are maxed out they're 8.1 injectors which are plug and play but for a head scam six liter they're not quite enough so i'm going to be getting a hold of glenn at glenn's auto performance he has the injectors you need for the trailblazer ss intake swap um they're only a hundred bucks and they're i think they're 50 or 52 pound injectors or something so that is more than enough for what i'm going to be doing um, unfortunately, we don't have E85 here in, in Reno or Sparks. I think there's one place in Carson, but it's definitely not worth it to do the swap. Maybe one day we'll have E85 here and then we can look into doing, you know, flex fuel. But at least with those injectors, if that ever is an option in the future, we won't have to get bigger injectors still. It will be plenty big enough. Um, I wanted to do it last year, didn't really do it. I don't know if I'll do it this year or not, but I want to do coil overs on this thing. Get rid of the torsion bars. Not only will it ride better, we can shave a little bit of weight off because those torsion bars in that bracket are really heavy. So you get rid of all that and just have a coil over in place of the shock. I think that'd be cool. But that is it. Thank you guys for stopping in. Check me out on Instagram. It's endless wishlist 6.0. Uh, every th currently every thousand subscribers we have, I do a giveaway. Um, check out my friend 454 Chewy. He does the porting for me on these things and he's helped me out a lot with the uh, info which I in turn relay to all you guys 
because I like to give you know part numbers, this, that, and the other, make it easy for everybody. Um, but yeah, so uh, follow me here, follow me on Instagram in the social six one zero. Don't know if I said that. Like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.